All right, MAGA Republican scammed this man out of his life savings while his family admitted that he was suffering from cognitive decline, and we need to talk about this because he is far from the only one. A Republican donation platform named WinRed was recently exposed for scamming elderly men just like this man, and for a little bit of context, WinRed helps connect Republican voters with campaigns so they can make donations. Think Act Blue, but for the right and a lot more deceptive. So, this donation platform, WinRed, has been reaching out, has been targeting elderly voters, has been sending them scam texts posing as Donald Trump or Donald Trump Jr. or Charlie Kirk or whoever, asking them for money, then locking them into recurring investments, and it's ruined some people's lives. Some people's life savings were taken away as they suffered from cognitive decline as these maniacal Republicans laughed and sucked their money out. You know, we have a story in a video forum to break this all down and an article so make sure you drop a like make sure you subscribe and drop some blue hearts to boost this pro-democracy message and let's jump in with this cnn video and then we'll read this article titled how trump steered supporters into unwitting donations online donors were guided into weekly recurring contributions i might have said monthly earlier but it was weekly recurring contributions demands for refunds then spiked complaints to banks and credit card companies soared but the money helped keep donald trump's struggling campaign afloat. He has scammed the American people time and time again, and I want you guys to check out the following video from CNN. He had essentially put himself $50,000 in debt after he had given them his life savings. So you made more than 100 donations in one day. My gosh. When read. Boy, there was a lot of them when read WinRed is a fundraising platform most Republican campaigns use to solicit donations, often using misleading emails and text messages. He started experiencing cognitive decline after the death of our mother and said that made him more vulnerable to these kinds of pleas for money. So dad, did you see in July of 22, you donated $38,713. Yeah. This man's life savings were drained. And listen, I've donated a few hundred bucks to the Kamala Harris campaign over the past month or two just because I personally believe in Kamala and I want them to win, but being scammed out of your life savings is a totally different story. Being scammed with misleading, referring recurring donations while the person you're texting is trying to trick you into thinking they are Donald Trump. Listen to this. He thought that he was texting with Trump. Boy. I got a call from our dad um, asking me if he could borrow a thousand dollars, which he had never asked me for money in my life. Yeah, it's just so out of character. It was almost shocking because he was always very frugal and very responsible with his money. And I logged in and that's when my jaw dropped because I saw hundreds and hundreds of transactions to winred.com. And really quickly, before we finish this video, because it gets crazy, I want to tell the story of somebody else that was affected in a similar way a few years back by WinRed. So, Stacy Blatt was in hospice care last September, listening to Rush Limbaugh's dire warnings about how badly Donald J. Trump's campaign needed money when he went online and chipped in everything he could. $500. So, this man chipped in everything he could, 500 bucks. It was a big sum for a 63-year-old battling cancer and living in Kansas City on less than $1,000 per month. But that single contribution, federal funds show it was his first ever, quickly multiplied. Another $500 was withdrawn the next day, then $500 the next week, and every week through mid-October without his knowledge, until Mr. Blatt's bank account had been depleted and frozen. When his utility and rent payments bounced, he called his brother Russell for help. What the Blatt soon discovered was $3,000 in withdrawals by the Trump campaign in less than 30 days. Let me say that again. $3,000 in less than 30 days 
is coming out of the account of a man who was in hospice, who was suffering from cancer. They called their bank and said they thought they were victims of a fraud. It felt, Russell said, like it was a scam. But what the Blatts believed was duplicity was actually an intentional scheme to boost revenues by the Trump campaign and the for-profit company that processed the online donations when read. This needs to be called out because the story I just showed you is even more recent. This is happening still. This recent article reads, Republican PAC WinRed misleads U.S. consumers into recurring donations. It is now under the lens of attorneys general in four U.S. states for its deceptive marketing tactics. Justin Frank Clark, this is another story, is a lifelong Republican living in Texas. He lives in a fairly conservative area, so it's no surprise that his candidates of choice are Republicans. That's why he signed up to donate to the GOP candidates through WinRed, an overarching political action committee that donates to Republican candidates across the United States. As far as he knew, he made a handful of small donations here and there, but that's not what ended up happening. The FEC records show Clark made thousands of donations, thousands of donations, not thousands of dollars in donations, but thousands of donations themselves, including as recently as in June 2024. And according to his grandson, they were without his father's knowledge. Quote, Winred would come in here and take $20 here and then, but then they would run that transaction somewhere between 50 and 200 times. Winred is allegedly overcharging and prompting recurring donations from donors like Clark without their knowledge. Let's finish this original story. These amounts of like $10, $15, $40. When we looked at his phone, his phone told the whole story because he would get um, dozens, dozens of text, messages. of text messages a day. Can you just show me some of your text messages? Yeah. Do you know, do you know who this is? I was dealing with President Trump, so it was kind of President Trump and Speaker Johnson were both, they want to know how I was what I was doing. It's incredibly sad. There's more to the video, but it is incredibly sad that Winred and MAGA Republicans feel the need to take advantage of elderly Americans that are obviously cognitively declining in this manner. But I mean, at least in his mind, he was on some really important business. He was dealing with the former president and the current speaker of the house all on his phone. That has to be a little bit thrilling, not to be insensitive. I really quickly want to play this video of Kamala Harris and Mark Cuban, then I'll tell the final story that is absolutely mind blowing. I get all that right. So here's yeah. kind of the angle I was looking at terrorists. Yeah. I've known Donald Trump 25 years. He used to be okay on trade policy, yeah. but over the last 25 years, he's just lost it. I don't think he pays attention to the details and you can't be president of the United States. Unless you pay attention to the details. Yeah. yeah. That's that's fine if he wants to, you know, just give speeches in random places for random reasons. But to talk about such significant policy like tariffs, yeah. much less foreign policy, he is applying a machete when a scalpel is what's necessary. It's, it, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. To me, I think Donald Trump is the, the Grinch that stole Christmas. This time next year, we're gonna be thinking about Christmas presents mm -hmm. for all of our kids. Mm -hmm. And if he puts a 60% tariff on everything from China, those prices are going up. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, yeah. your vision of everything you wanted to have for your kids at Christmas mm -hmm. is going up. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, yeah. your vision of everything you wanted to have for your kids at Christmas mm -hmm. is gone. Donald yeah. Trump just crushed it. And it's not just crushing people's Christmases. Those small companies that yeah. support communities, yeah. now all of a sudden, not only did their costs go up 60%, but their businesses were just shot. Right. He is going to put who knows how many small businesses out of business. Goldman Sachs, Moody's, Wall Street Journal most recently, 16 Nobel laureates have all examined our policies. Mine, as has been reviewed, will mm -hmm. strengthen the economy. His will weaken it. It will incite inflation yep. and invite a recession by the middle of next year, Mark. I love these two so much more than I could ever like Elon Musk and Donald Trump. Let's finish this video because I really like this guy. He really, in his heart, believed that Donald Trump and Donald Trump Jr. and other politicians were personally reaching out to him. He'd never donated to politicians before. He'd never given this large amount of money before. It made no sense that he would do this. The difference here is that your father is in cognitive decline. Right. There has to be a way to stop them so that they they don't take advantage of these people and don't 
ruin their lives and take their life savings that they worked so hard for for so many years. Winrud did not respond to multiple requests for comment from CNN. A Trump campaign advisor told CNN, we strive to be direct and transparent in informing them immediately when they have registered for recurring donations, sending a notice three days before processing, and having staff on hand to assist with refunds and cancellations. But there are other articles saying getting a refund is nearly impossible, and more people have had different stories. Bandits, said Victor Amelino, a 78-year-old Californian who made a $900 donation to Mr. Trump in early September via Winred. It recurred seven more times, adding up to almost $8,000. Quote, I'm retired. I can't afford to pay all that damn money. Even if he weren't retired, that is a life crippling amount of money to have to pay over the course of a month or two. It's insane. It's predatory. And if you guys appreciate what I do, drop a like, subscribe, drop some blue hearts. That's all free. Have a great rest of your day and peace out.